Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. this lecture on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We have been talking about uh, olefin metathesis reactions in the last few lectures and in particular we have been discussing the various mechanistic pathways that have been proposed uh, with regard to explaining olefin metathesis reaction. And also we have uh, noted in the previous lecture that how even though different mechanisms have been proposed for olefin met metathesis, how the one which is the correct one gain credence uh, uh, you know, gradually over period of time. Now what we had uh, discussed uh, in the last next lecture is uh, that uh, there are uh, two schools of thoughts which were initially proposed for olefin metathesis reaction. The first one was uh, this pairwise uh, mechanism. Uh, which was uh, indicating that both the olefinic uh, olefins form a pair uh, and then uh, uh, the reaction proceeds. However, uh, and there were uh, three pathways or three uh, hypotheses that were uh, uh, put forward based on pairwise mechanism by Calderon, Petit and Grubbs. However, in the end uh, by more detailed isotope leveling studies confirmed uh, uh, the reaction proceeding by non-pairwise uh, mechanism and uh, uh, the one uh, which has been uh, proposed by Chauvin. And here uh, the important uh, 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 criteria is that the, uh, the active species is a metal carbene species as shown over here. is the active species that carry out uh, this metathesis reaction. Another important fallout of uh, the Chauvin's mechanism is that it is a chain uh, uh, reaction in the sense that uh, there are several types of uh, metal carbene uh, species which are generated and uh, they carry out uh, this metathesis reaction uh, in a chain fashion. We are going to uh, uh, be looking at it uh, in bit more detail, particularly this chain reaction aspect of metathesis when we uh, uh, in today's lecture when we take up this topic in uh, much more detail. So what this slide says is that two olefins with different substitutes A and B, C and D come together uh, to give uh, uh, olefins which are now A and C, B and D uh, as well as A and D, B and C. So uh, this is that uh, famous uh, cutting and stitching uh, definition as if somebody had cut these olefins in uh, fragment and then stitched them up needlessly to give all the combinations possible uh, 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 through this chain uh, reaction. Uh, proceeding further, uh, we have also discussed this uh, uh, non-pair wise mechanism and, and uh, what we had observed that how it goes via formation of uh, these uh, 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 metal cyclobutane intermediate uh, 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 and then uh, that results uh, uh, in uh, um, uh, the different kind of uh, olefins as well as different kind of metal carbene active species. So what is interesting to see is that there is uh, uh, one uh, the starting uh, initiating process metal carbene active species but however during the course of the uh, metathesis uh, many other many other metal carbene species are formed are formed and uh, these uh, two uh, uh, which is shown over here and they are also equally capable of carrying out uh, uh, these uh, olefin metathesis reaction and this is why this uh, is called a chain uh, uh, process uh, so that a set of chain uh, reactions uh, take place uh, uh, this. 
uh, uh, by this uh, formation of many species. Uh, the main support uh, for this uh, non pairwise mechanism was provided by Grubbs in this uh, JACS paper where uh, he had uh, synthesized this deuterated uh, and the terminal deuterated uh, uh, octane and uh, which uh, according uh, to him would give uh, these uh, uh, cyclohexane which is unreactive and uh, uh, this would give D4 uh, ethylene. Uh, whereas, uh, that uh, when this cyclohexane that can be knocked off by this uh, protonated uh, um, octane uh, to give uh, uh, this complex. Now, that uh, can uh, undergo fast met metathesis exchanging uh, these uh, groups uh, CD2 to CH2. So, what we have here is CH2 and this side is CD2 that can uh, fast exchange uh, uh, to give the product which is CD2 and then CH2 CH2 uh, uh, whereas, uh, these can first exchange to give uh, CD2 CH2 which is this and then CD2 CH2. So, what uh, uh, Grubbs did is a uh, Grubb proposed uh, 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 these various uh, uh, products that may be uh, obtained uh, particularly with uh, regard to uh, the formation of D4 uh, and this is uh, CD2 uh, CH2 is D2 and uh, CH2 CH2 uh, is D0 hmm. Uh, which would also uh, be formed, uh, this should be D0. And what he tried to do in this paper is uh, that uh, he estimated uh, 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 the statistical distribution of these two types of ethylene D4, D, uh, uh, D2 and D0 uh, and then uh, observed uh, how closely the statistical di uh, distribution uh, was uh, matched in terms of pairwise or non pairwise product. Uh, so, let me illustrate this in bit more uh, detail. So, for uh, uh, these two uh, 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 type of uh, uh, olefin which is deuterated versus uh, protonated, uh, the Grubb estimated that according to pairwise mechanism, uh, uh, the ratio uh, the ratio would be 1 to 0 to 1.6 to 1. Uh, for these two, pro these three products, whereas for Chauvin it will be one uh, to two uh, to one, and this uh, is what was experimentally observed, uh, 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 giving uh, uh, a prediction in favor of the uh, pairwise uh, uh, mechanism. Uh, so uh, this uh, was a fantastic set of experiments uh, uh, performed uh, mm, by Grubbs uh, that uh, sort of uh, finally settled uh, uh, the issue, uh, put a, all the confusion to rest and gave a verdict in, form, uh, in favor of Chauvin's uh, pairwise uh, mechanism. Now, uh, uh, what uh, uh, to give a perspective of how the reaction proceeds, uh, uh, I am going to uh, sort of uh, uh, just uh, show the chain wise uh, propagation of met, uh, uh, olefin metathesis in the following uh, few steps uh, over here. Uh, for example, these two olefin in presence of a metal carbene species gave olefin with A, C, B, D plus A, T plus B, C. Now, the reaction proceeded as follows. So, the initiating species is a metal carbon species 
and that reacting with uh, olefin A and B giving X A B or B A and that would give X A plus M B whereas this would give X B plus M A then the another another possibility would be this species which is uh, M A then plus C D the other will faint giving A C plus M D A C plus M D plus A D plus M C now. again M B which is formed over here can react with C D giving B C plus M D plus M D plus B D B D plus M C again this M C can react
with C D to give A C plus M B M B plus C B plus M A MA and lastly again MD plus AB can give TA plus MB DB plus So, the, what is interesting over here uh, uh, is the fact that uh, uh, from uh, one carbon initiating species uh, so many uh, different uh, carbon species. So, from M x uh, which was the starting species all of the species M B, M A, A, M C, M D A, A, and so on and so forth M D, M C, M B. M A, M B, M A, so many different species uh, are being generated as a course of the reaction. So, uh, that is why uh, uh, this uh, sort of acts as a, a chain reaction and that is why these mass isotopic experiments were performed uh, in order to know uh, the statistical uh, uh, distribution uh, of these uh, various products which uh, sort of finally uh, uh, helped explain. Uh, uh, these uh, Chauvin's uh, uh, non pairwise mechanism in explaining uh, the metathesis uh, reaction. So, uh, uh, we have seen how uh, complex uh, this metathesis reaction in and one can see that by just uh, looking at a different active species that are being produced uh, by this initiating metal carbon species and how that helped uh, in propagating the reaction in a chain fashion uh, all giving and stitching different uh, forms of uh, olefin. Now, uh, we will uh, uh, sort of uh, explain uh, this uh, um, uh, olefin metathesis in bit more detail and uh, this olefin metathesis not only uh, can be uh, uh, expected for uh, alkenes, but uh, can also be observed uh, uh, for alkynes. So, alkene metathesis as well as as alkyne metathesis we have to see that this reaction is uh, not only limited to uh, alkenes but also are known for alkynes a very uh, nice example of this is what we had just uh, discussed earlier is that of uh, uh, propane in presence of catalyst uh, giving ethylene plus uh, butene uh, 
Uh, so, uh, this another interesting thing is that uh, the versatility of the uh, metathesis reaction very versatile and uh, 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 very versatile and can be catalyzed by homogeneous and uh, heterogeneous catalyst. catalyzed under both homogeneous and heterogeneous conditions. Hmm. And uh, the first observation of conversion of linear olefins into longer and shorter chain moieties at uh, uh, mm, uh, uh, a molybdenum catalyst. Uh, so, uh, this was the first observation of uh, conversion of linear olefins into longer and shorter chain moieties at a molybdenum catalyst. And this was sort of uh, seen uh, uh, with the first observation. of conversion of uh, linear olefins into longer and shorter chain moieties. Uh, on a uh, molybdenum catalyst. So, and this is very much uh, illustrated by the above example where propylene uh, got converted to a shorter ethylene and longer uh, bu uh, bu uh, butene. So, uh, 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 this uh, was uh, uh, first sort of uh, observed by conversion of olefin to the longer, longer and the shorter uh, moieties. Now, olefin metathesis uh, uh, was uh, an intriguing uh, phenomenon and failed to begin with and then uh, uh, once the mechanism uh, was uh, uh, sort of understood, the next biggest challenge uh, was uh, in trying to uh, earmark the boundary of the reaction or the capability of the reaction. And uh, uh, what uh, came into being that there are a wide range of uh, different types of reaction, all of which uh, belong to the family of olefin metathesis. So, in that context, uh, hmm, a large number of uh, olefin metathesis reaction uh, came into being. And all of them, uh, uh, them though slightly different uh, uh, in type, uh, but they all fell in this uh, uh, subclass of olefin metathesis reaction. And uh, we are going to sort of uh, um, take a look at some of the classifications or different types of olefin metathesis reactions uh, uh, that uh, are, are being. Now, as mentioned earlier that uh, uh, as we had said uh, that uh, be, uh, the olefin metathesis is, is very versatile and uh, can, uh, is not only restricted to olefin, uh, but also uh, is equally observed for alkyne which also undergo similar kind of uh, metathesis reaction. Now, be, uh, one thing to note uh, here is the fact that alkyne metathesis is less explored than alkene metathesis. Alkyne. is alkyne metathesis is less explored uh, to uh, when compared to alkene metathesis. Now, uh, with these uh, uh, we come uh, 
uh, to the conclusion of today's lecture uh, where uh, we have looked into uh, uh, the uh, different mechanistic uh, aspects of this non pairwise mechanism proposed by uh, Chauvin where uh, one can see that uh, this non pairwise mechanism was established through isotope uh, leveling experiments in terms of uh, the ratios uh, of different isotopically labeled olefins uh, were produced in a particular experiment. Uh, what it was uh, um, what came to the fore uh, by uh, during this course of experiment is that the uh, active species or the initiating species is a, a metal carbene species which is different from that of the two uh, olefins uh, uh, involved. And uh, this metal carbene species uh, during the course of uh, metathesis reaction uh, um, transforms or changes uh, uh, to many other uh, types of metal carbene species. So, a singular active species gives rise to several types of many more metal carbene species all of which are equally uh, active in olefin metathesis reaction. As a result a chain reaction set in place uh, 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 leading to uh, uh, formation of different combinations of olefins uh, which uh, 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 can possibly be formed. Uh, another uh, interesting uh, uh, point that we had observed is that uh, the transition state uh, for this metathesis reaction is a metallocyclobutane kind of intermediate uh, 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 which leads to the formation of a olefin as well as uh, an active species which is the metal carbene species. So, uh, um, and these uh, isotope experiments were uh, 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 reported by Grubbs uh, which favored uh, Chauvin's uh, uh, proposal of a non pairwise uh, uh, mechanism towards the formation of olefin metathesis uh, products. So, with this uh, uh, we come to the end of our discussion of various kinds of mechanisms uh, which have been proposed in explaining the metathesis reaction. Uh, uh, and we are going to uh, be look at uh, taking up uh, different varieties uh, of metathesis uh, uh, reactions or different types of metathesis reactions uh, that have been uh, reported so far uh, uh, and also the subsequent applications of metathesis reactions uh, in the coming lecture. Uh, so, uh, once again I thank you uh, for uh, being with me uh, in this lecture and we are going to be uh, looking uh, at a different uh, types of uh, metathesis reactions uh, 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 in more detail when we take up the when we cover the uh, topic in the next uh, lecture. Till then, goodbye and thank you.